Devastating floods along Russia's border with China could force 100,000 people out of their homes. Villages in the Amor region and in the Jewish Autonomous District have been engulfed. Water levels have reached six meters in some places. Officials say the floods, brought on by unusually heavy rains, are the biggest to hit the area in 120 years. Around 15,000 people have already been evacuated. They're now taking refuge in emergency shelters. The government's flying in aid to help those in the worst affected areas. The flood waters are not expected to recede for several days. Thousands of people in Russia's Far East have been evacuated due to severe flooding. Three regions have been affected by heavy rains, putting towns and villages at risk. Authorities have set up evacuation centers and temporary shelters for those under threat. Russian President Vladimir Putin held meetings to discuss the situation and urged local officials to engage personally in the response. No fatalities have been reported and forecasters predict the rains look set to ease in the coming hours. Now, there's no relief in sight for the tens of thousands of people living in Russia's Far East, battered by the worst flooding in more than a century. Water levels have already broken a historical record for the region and are expected to reach the peak only by the middle of the week. Around 30,000 people have already been evacuated by emergency services and authorities say this could be just the beginning. Artis Paul Scott is in the thick of events and talked to some of the victims. The scale is breathtaking. As far as the eye can see, floodwaters submerge swathes of eastern Russia. Homes destroyed and livelihoods ruined. The water beneath me is three meters deep and all around you can just see rooftops and treetops sticking out from above the water. We've even just come across one couple who were preparing their dinner on the roof. Some of the steadfast few who at the moment have refused to leave their homes. This is the island of Vladimirovka. Most of the residents have been evacuated to safety, forced out by the deluge. Of the 30,000 displaced, many have found themselves in temporary accommodation centres that have been hastily assembled in places like schools. Thousands of troops and emergency crews continue to arrive in the area to help tackle the disaster. Recent flooding in Russia's Far East was triggered by heavy rains that have hit 140 towns and villages across the region. The worst floods recorded in some 120 years have forced the evacuation of around 20,000 people from their homes. We now turn to flooding in another part of the world. Russian President Vladimir Putin says the flooding caused by heavy rains has caused a loss of 100 billion rubles, or about 3 billion U.S. dollars. He says the situation is under control and has urged relief workers to make people's well-being the priority. 800 million rubles will be distributed to flood victims. The government has declared a state of emergency in five regions in Russia's Far East. The Amur region has been hit the hardest. About 1,200 people have been evacuated and 32 residential areas inundated. me to a place and uh, in this place I see tremendous floods that are coming but before the floods I see a lot of people drinking and eating they mix a lot of vodka with coca-cola and the Lord was speaking to these people and the Lord made me weep in this place and weep for the gospel because they were not born again. And then the voice of the Lord spoke from heaven and said, Look, all this area 
has not received the gospel of the salvation of the Lord. And then he said, even the Muslims that live in this entire area have not received Christ. And then the Lord made me weep in that place because the people had not received the gospel. After that I saw a flood, a serious flood that came. And I see a house, a huge building submerged in water. It's a tremendous flood that comes into that area. So I see floods coming, very heavy floods are coming. Tremendous flood is coming, even in the said places. Shalom.